Okay guys, so have you ever thought about how does a weatherman know what the weather is going to be like? I mean, you may have seen something like this before, and you've probably heard him call it the radar. And this is a good, um, you know, a good way to look at it, but this is actually made up of many different tools. So here are some weather instruments that we can use. This is called a weather vane, and that shows um, the direction of the wind. This is called an anemometer, which shows how much the wind is blowing, the wind speed. Uh, there's a, a tool that measures the humidity, which is how much water is in the air. You've seen a thermometer before, which is the temperature. So different tools like that go into making up the radar. Now, this tool in particular, the anemometer, is good at telling you maybe if a storm is coming. Because if it starts to spin faster and faster, you'll know that the wind is, what they say, picking up. Which is likely to mean that there's a storm coming. Or it could help them determine if a storm is headed right for you or uh, maybe close to you. But that's one tool that uh, meteorologists use to help determine the weather. And since that tool is actually kind of easy to build, um, we're going to make one. This will require parent help. So take two weeks to build it, or if your mom or dad says no, you know, we'll try something different. And there's lots of different ways to do this activity, so I will show you the way I did it, and then I will also include a link to another um, just information on how to build one. You can do it with leftover uh, Easter eggs, which would be cool if you have any plastic Easter eggs left over. So here is how I did it. I took five cups. Now mine were kind of big. It's easier if they're smaller and lighter. Like I said, Easter eggs. Uh, this is just what I had. So that's what I used. I also used um, three straws. And the two red ones can be replaced with small sticks or skewers and then I use this nail to poke a hole through the two red straws. You can do like again with skewers or something different. You just want to be able to go through the two straws. Now I have a hot glue gun and some very small tape. If you have duct tape that would probably be the best thing for this experiment but I'm working with what I got. Now take only one cup and put a hole in the bottom of it that will make space for the white straw to go through. No, your straw does not have to be white. That does not make a difference. You can see my straw foiled down, so what I need to do is secure it in place. Again, here comes hot glue. Um, now at the bottom of the straw, underneath the cup, you could put some Play-Doh or something as well. I didn't, and it, my straw ended up breaking, so I had to fix it later on. Now, in the center of the two straws, the two red straws, I'm going to take my nail and go straight through the straws. Okay? This way I can make an X shape. This is the piece of your anemometer that will hold the cups that will catch the wind. So the other four cups that you have. Or Easter egg pieces. Or those little paper Dixie cups. Those work too. So I need it to stay in place. I want it to stay in this X formation. So I'm going to glue it in place. Uh, again, duct tape works particularly well. However, you need to get the straws to stay in this egg shape 
is what you need to do. So you do you. Now my X shape is made. I'm going to take the cups and now attach them to there. It's important the direction that you put them on. If you face them like this, it won't work. It, I mean, it might explode or something. Maybe. Oh. So it's important to make sure that you have them facing opposite directions. That way the wind blows only into one cup at a time. This is what's going to help it spin. Here I'm using tape. I put it over the top of the straw and then I turn to my cup sideways so that the tape will go from the top to the bottom of the cup. Like that. You can poke holes in the side of the cup and run the straw through, but I didn't want to ruin my cups so that I could use them again. Now, on the opposite side, I'm going to take the cup and make sure it's facing the opposite direction. Again, I'm using a piece of tape and I'm running the tape along the top to the bottom of my cup. Voila, like that. So the cups are facing in opposite, opposite directions. Now I'm going to do it again on the other two sides. And when I finish, the cup should all be facing like that. So that is ready to go. I'm going to give it a test run real quick before I finish. I stick the nail that I used or your skewer or whatever else you use. I stick it down into the hole of my straw so that it sits nicely on top. Now if I blow into the cup, it should spin freely. Now your breath is not as strong as the wind outside, so it won't spin too fast, but as you can see it worked pretty well. To reinforce my anemometer, I'm going to take this piece of paper and glue the base down. And like I said earlier, it would be a good idea to take maybe Play-Doh or something to secure the bottom of that straw to the base or to the paper. Okay, so I glued it. It's good to go. I've put it back together. Give it another test run. You can see it's working fine. And now it's ready to go outside. So that's how I built mine. And like I said, I'll show you how to do it with um, Easter eggs or a ping pong balls or the small paper cups. I'll add that link um, to the lesson plans. And take, the, take your time. Don't rush on this project. And just have fun with it. And... I look forward to seeing your finished work. I hope you guys had a great Easter. See you later.